Hey guys and welcome back. Today I'm going to be sharing with you how to make this super easy DIY vision slash mood board using these cork heat pot stands that I featured in my IKEA haul. So you will need three packs of the IKEA cork pot stands. These come in a three pack and they're perfect to pin things to as they're nice and thick. You will also need some MDF or a piece of board. My dad picked this sheet of MDF up for me from home base and the size it usually comes in as standard is two foot by five foot. So we decided to cut this down and he measured it out and cut it down to a two foot by two foot notice board so that it would fit the nine cork pieces I had perfectly on the board. After it had been cut, I just went in with some soft and not too harsh sandpaper just to smooth down any rough edges. I decided to spray paint the MDF a pastel pink so I picked up this gloss spray paint from Wilco in Candy Cane. I love the Wilco spray paints as they're only £4 for a big can and there is so many beautiful colours to choose from now including rose gold. However, when I was spraying the first coat on, I did find the MDF soaked up a lot of the product. So I would advise if you are going to use MDF to paint the board white first with maybe a thick acrylic paint just so it acts as a primer so you don't end up using two cans of spray paint like I did. I also found that Wilco do a matching tester paint pot too if you want to use this for touch ups or for around the sides of the board. Next it's time to attach the cork to the board. I first placed them down how I wanted them just to make sure they were even and centred but you can do whatever pattern you would like, you don't have to use them all. Then I went ahead and used a glue gun to secure each cork piece down. To attach the board to the wall, I use these gold plates from B&Q. You just attach them to the back of the board and all you do is just measure out and mark with a pencil where you want them to be. Then my dad pierced the back of the board where I'd penciled the holes to help make the screws go in more easily. He also added a little Gorilla Glue before screwing the plates down so they were more secure on the board. I would recommend waiting 24 hours so the glue is dried properly before you attach the board to the wall but after this was done I got my dad to help me drill the board right onto the wall then you're ready to start pinning anything that inspires and motivates you whether that's a picture, quote, postcard or whatever you would like and I'm actually really pleased with how this turned out and I love the fact that IKEA always have such amazing pieces that can be so versatile in the way you use them I'll leave a link down below to my IKEA hacks playlist series if you want to see what else I've DIY'd and also if you're looking for some more inspiration. So guys, thank you so much for watching and give this video a big thumbs up if you did find it inspiring and I will look forward to seeing you in my next video. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I'd love to have you as part of the PBB community and I will see you next time. Take care, bye.